Hello guys, welcome to Linux Joy channel. Today we are going to learn about uh, df command for disk space usage. So let's get started. So for that I opened my virtual machine here. Okay. To open the terminal I have to press all plus F2 at the same time and genome-tr-m-i-n-a-l terminal. To maximize the screen just press windows button and up arrow key at the same time to increase the font control shift plus so when i execute this df command it will show the six parameters so what are the parameters now we are going to see df press enter so these are the parameters one two three four five six right first one is file system name okay and the second one is Total size in blocks and user size in blocks available size nothing but space available space in blocks and file system used in percentage okay and mounted on which directory okay so here we can find slash slash dev slash run slash boot etc so these are the six parameters and the next command is df hyphen a so actually when you execute this command uh, it will show the output same as above but it will also so show some hidden file system along with a uh, file system disk usage and memory utilization okay i'm going to press enter df hyphen a enter so you can find file system blocks used available and these are the hidden file system root, tfs, sysfs and here cz group, ps, p store, c, c group like this and uh, if you confuse with blocks uh, one block equals to 512 bytes okay and if you want to see the output in human readable language so that means in kbs, mbs RGBs. First, we need. We are going to see the file system in GBs. So for that, df hyphen small h h h stands for human readable language. So you can find here file system name and size here 26 GB. Used 4.5 GB and available 22 GB. And used file system in size 18 percentage mounted on slash directory like this so if i want to see slash home file system information for that df iphone h slash home yeah same file system name size and used available space and used file system in percentage and mounted on which directory i can use i can use some other directory that is slash boot see slash boot file system name is slash dev slash sda1 and size is 497 mb use 265 and available 232 and use it 54 percentage and mounted at slash boot okay as we can also see one more directory that is df h slash run So, in this way you can see the uh, file system of particular directory. Next, I want to see the file system information in bytes. For that I have to type df iphone k. Yes, press enter. These are the bytes. Two seven two four nine double six four and user space user size also in bytes available size also in bytes so total size used and available and the file system in percentage next I want to see the file system information in megabytes for that I have to type df hyphen m so these are in right now in megabytes 
26611 megabytes and user one is 4567 megabytes and available is 22045 mb megabytes is nothing but mb and same the percentage and mounted on which directory i want to see in gigabytes for that same command that is df hyphen h just now i used that command human readable language also we have to use this option and uh, to see the size in gigabytes also we have to use this option next i want to see the file system information with i notes so i previously told you in my previous uh, video what is i note so you can check that video uh, if you have any doubts what is i note so these are the i notes here actually i note is nothing but it will store the metadata of a file uh, metadata is nothing but uh, that file is executable readable or not and what is the user id and group id etc so it doesn't store the information of the file um, it doesn't show, store the actual information of the file but it will store the metadata of the file what is what is the metadata is nothing but uh, the file type uh, type means it is readable or executable or yeah we we want to write means it is it writable or something and what is the group id and user id etc and next if i want to see the file system information with what type of file it is so for that i have to type df hyphen capital t sorry capital t see the file type here xfs and dev tm temporary file system temporary file system tm tmpfs nothing but temporary file system and here xfs so you can see file type here with with sizes and what is the file system type also and uh, you can use this command also df hyphen h capital t with human readable language and the file system type at the same time like this so and uh, okay and other commands are like if i want to include certain file system type so i want to see only xfs file system type for that i have to type df iphon t x f s it will show the file system type which are in xfs file system see from the output here slash dv slash sda3 is xfs and slash dv slash sda1 xfs and next if i want to exclude certain file system type see i have an exclude xfs file system so what you can see here that means exclude the xfs file system instead of that xfs file system it will show other different file systems here like the dev temporary file system tmpfs like here you can observe so these are the outputs include certain file system and exclude certain file system so you want to see the help page of df command you can type df iphone iphone help so this is the help page help page of df command so here you can find the syntax df and option file and these are the arguments iphone a means what it will show and iphone capital b see i can iphone a include dummy file system just now i told you and iphone h human readable language these are the combination and these are the arguments you can check it out and you can practice so i i explained most of the uh, arguments here so most are most are arguments are which are usable in real time environment right and next so if you want to see the version of the this command df command that is v r s i o n 
yes and uh, this is df and gnu is nothing but genuinely not unix so on copyright free software foundation and license this is the link okay there is no warranty and written by these people's grandland and david mckenzie and paul eckert so i plan for today's session to explain the df command so i am closing now thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts please do mention in the comments if you like the video please click on that like button as well as you can share this video to other people who are eagerly waiting to learn linux operating system that is in centos okay and one more thing i forgot you people are might uh, wonder how did i change this terminal color so i am going to show you that right click on terminal go to profiles and profile preference go to colors if you check this box it will show that uh, regular screen like white uh, background and black text text so if you want change some little different colors want to try with different colors you can select black light yellow and black and white black and white is same regular color gray and black okay see like this okay thank you for watching my video thanks for the today session have a nice day